Town Hall 16 is here and today we're going to give you the first base links of this new Town Hall and these bases are suited for Legends League and War. Before we get into the bases, a quick disclaimer, Town Hall 16 is much easier than Town Hall 15, so if you get tripled a bit more, that is why. And secondly, base builders haven't caught up to the meta yet. People haven't figured out how to stop the Root Rider and all the new hero equipment. So base building will improve, but for now, these are the best bases we could put together for you. It's also worth noting, you might recognize a few of these bases from videos we did earlier in the week. Don't worry, we've edited the traps, spell towers, and zap value. So just because you saw it tripled with a certain way earlier in the week doesn't mean that will work anymore. First base of the video, I'm sure you all recognize this. One of the most popular Legends League bases at the end of Town Hall 15. And it's just been augmented for Town Hall 16. Um, it was so strong at Town Hall 15. It will be the same at Town Hall 16. Still going with the double rage tower, as you can see, that covers some important defenses now on the top side this is extremely clumped and susceptible to zaps but that's why the ricochet cannons are up here they obviously can't be zapped with six zap one quake so you won't get everything but yes zaps will be powerful on this base Super Archer Clone does look good because of the two Rage Towers, but there isn't too many places you can safely land the blimp. I did plenty of testing on this and I can tell you it's possible but difficult. The double rage does also mean it's really good against root riders. Base number two, and I actually know the original builder of this, so thanks buddy, you are awesome. But yeah, this was one of the bases that I struggled most with across the week. Uh, we did triple this in a couple of videos, but the traps have been changed a little bit. A few others, but I didn't have to change it much because yeah, this is a really hard base to hit. With basically every strategy, it was, yeah, the toughest base of the week for me to deal with. Base number three now, and this is a really awkward box base. One of the new meta ones where the town hall is quite deep. This back end rage tower, obviously the rage tower is not as big as it was before, but it's still super awkward. A lot of value defenses and you can't zap a lot with it. You can't get that multi inferno and expo together, which is really nice. Now this poison tower near the town hall, if you wanted to change one thing on this base, it'd probably be the spell tower setting here. You could make it a rage tower and it gets the two multis in the town hall, but I didn't think it was enough value. So I set it as a poison tower to be really awkward for every attack, but you could also set it to an invis tower if you want to be a bit trolly. Honestly, up to you on that one, but I really like this yet again. Really awkward to hit. You can zap this monolith and uh, expo together, but yet you can't get the ricochet cannon down with it. Yeah, this was an awkward base to hit all of the week. Now, whilst we're more than willing to give away these bases for free, it'd mean the world to us if you are going to buy one of these update offers in the shop. Go to the top right where it has a code, put in code blue and hit send code. We would be eternally grateful. I've genuinely lost count of what base number we're at, but we'll get into this one here. Another box base. This one's really clumped, which makes it good against uh, root riders generally. Because uh, the more clump the base, the more DPS you can put on them at a time because they don't get through the defenses very quickly. But the weakness of this base is E-Drags. So keep that in mind if you're going to run against E-Drags a lot. Probably best not to use this base. I like this Rage Tower though. Gets a lot of good value. This Spell Tower by the Town Hall though is an issue. Because uh, you can't set it as a Rage. You get nothing with it. Uh, Invis, nothing with it. So I did decide to set it as a Poison Tower. It would still be... A bit of a deterrent for people coming in with Super Archer Clone Blimps, particularly if they want to land on the multi Infernos. But not probably not the best uh, best spell towers. But the rest of the base super compact, super awkward to deal with. And uh, yeah, Queen Charging and Root Riders is tough on this one. Final base here is a teaser base. This is if you like trolling people because yeah, this is this base looks easy, but it never ended up being that easy on paper. And it's because of this back end Rage Tower yet again, getting so many valuable defenses, but not any of them are zappable together. You can only get the Rage Tower and one of those defenses, never two of them. It's also worth noting, look at this. On this side where we've got the Queen next to the Scatter, we put the Ricochet Cannon there because if you use six, if this was a multi Archer Tower here, these were swapped you could do six apps one quake get a multi arch tower scatter and queen and that is insane value so we've set it up deliberately so if you want to do the six app one quake you can but you won't get all three on either side rest of the base is nice the expos 
could be a bit better, but it's to discourage charges for that town hall compartment. But yeah, this space, super awkward to deal with. In terms of defensive CC, completely up to you. I think the best CC will be triple ice golem because it's a nuisance for the root riders, specifically if you're doing spam root riders because uh, it slows them all up. The Titan CC will be strong as well, but yeah, I think for now, sit on that triple ice golem CC. Uh, it's, it's just very reliable and will work against most attacks. That's it for this base video. Don't worry, we'll have plenty of other base videos for Town Hall 16 coming up soon once our builders have more than caught up with the meta. Uh, but if the bases do struggle, let us know in the comments, but preferably, you know, try and be reasonably respectable about it. We are sorry if the base goes terrible for you, but if you're respectable, I'm much more likely to look at the comment and go, hey, I understand this. I'm sorry that happened. We'll keep that in mind for next time. So keep that in mind. We're all human beings in the end, aren't we?